Hello everybody, welcome to the channel. If you are returning, um, if you're new, if you're returning, welcome back guys. This is gonna be another pick a pile. And you can go right into the description box below at this time and pick it now, okay? It'll be time stamped down there with these decks that I'm using for each pile, one, two, and three. And the audio is there, copyright free music. It's an excellent uh, one. Smudged and prepared, are you guys ready? Ready, set, go. All right, if you have chosen pile one, this could be you, pile one. Giving this here a go. <sighs> pile one, please. Pile one. Beyond the Muria. Okay, last one in my hand. She of the Lotus. She of the Lotus. 43, all right? 43, the number seven, has lots of meanings. Um, one of them is mind, your mind. Your body and your spiritual um, alignment, it also translates to uh, mystery. Um, to those of you who are familiar with um, reading playing deck, a playing deck, um, okay, doing tarot with uh, playing cards is what I'm saying here. Um, she is really green, and so um, I really want to talk about this divine feminine is healing. The lotus blooms in the deepest of mud, okay? I learned that from uh, the music oracles I have here on this channel. You'll see those again soon too, guys. Um, anyways, she of the lotus, she of the lotus, okay? Let's clarify this for you, pile one. Pile one, what is this about? Healing, healing, the mystery of healing. I don't know where we're going here. Clarify this, please. Whew. This, everything is really cold, by the way. Fingers are getting, they're kind of swollen. All right, Knight of Swords. Knight of Swords, wow. There's a divine masculine here with a clear direction for you. You are on this person's mind, pile one. Could be an Aquarius, a Gemini, or a Libra. I could be talking to one of those signs. Take it or leave it. There's focus and truth. And it's on my mind, you. You're on my mind. All right, well, hmm. You have a healing presence about you, Pile One. There's something about you that has a calming effect on, on a divine masculine, okay? Regardless of the sign. May or may not resonate that part, okay? Night, I'm, I, I wanna come forward with some truth about you and how I feel about you, Divine Feminine. Oh, pile one, that's beautiful. Okay, nicer than the last pile one. <laughs> wow, here we go. If you have chosen pile two, this could be your message. 
may or may not resonate. This is general, okay? Here we go. Ooh, look at this one. Pile two, 49. Yes, I just used my fingers to count in my head too. It's 13, guys. It's about instinct and vision, and we do, look at all this purple coming through. I mean, all the colors are here, okay? But this just stands out to me about spirituality, okay? And this is what I'm getting from it. <laughs> My hands are kind of shaky. I've just had too much coffee or whatever, guys. 13, instinct and vision, okay? But what I'm called to say about it, your spirituality is your instinct. It is your instinct to believe in what you believe in. And it's what you vision. And I, I wanna say, pile two, what you believe in is right for you, all right? Oh yeah. What you believe is right is correct for you, all right? Hmm, it's nice. Spirituality, ambition, and a portal. And we now we see it, the number 11 here. Pfft, never saw that before, guys. It's a portal. The infinite. What are the possibilities for you when you choose to lead with your instinct and your vision and the sun is out, it's warm, your arms are up here. This is uh, also your heart chakra is lit. Do we see the little heart? Do we see the little heart? Oh my goodness. Here we go. Yes. See it now, my arms are up. There's the sun, beautiful. Okay, let's clarify this for you, pile two. Pile two, let's clarify this. Here we go. 10 of swords, oh my goodness. You've been through it, huh? 10 is complete, and it's complete ruins. Um, Aquarius Libra Gemini may or may not mean something to you. Could be talking to one, dealing with one. You guys could have it in your charts. Regardless, it's about your mind. It's the... It's the energy of the element. It's your mind. It's your thoughts. It's your, what drives you? And what has broken you into little pieces? Oh my gosh. How do you get out of this dark night of the soul? We like to call it here. Well, how do you get out of this dark night of the soul? I'll tell you how. With strength. Inner strength. I don't care what's, who I'm talking to, divine masculine, divine feminine. You get out of this crap with your inner strength. Oh no! I am so sorry about this movement of this it's a huge tablet and it's kind of i bump it it kind of gets in my way guys the challenges of this pick a pile but um any any challenges okay speaking of challenges what are what you're challenged with right now is of highest good for you is what i'm yes 10 is um, intuitions, dreams, beliefs, and it's completion, okay? Complete it. There's warmth uh, behind this, okay? Stars are aligning. We have to go through things. 
pile two. Whoever you are, we all have to go through things before we can like start reaching up and to look ahead, okay? You'll get through it. You got this. Oh man, look at this. See the stars at the top of this card? Um, and then the stars here. This is a positive message for you. It is gorgeous. And we do see this, um, right. Oh, come on, chromosomes, the ladder, the, uh, your genealogy, your, uh, guys, I'm kind of a moron. It's like DNA, okay? Do you see that right here? Yeah, I do, okay? Anyway, it's about opening your heart chakra. Get through this and you can do it, all right? That was you, pile two, and that was beautiful. Just like pile one. Beautiful. All right. Here we go. If you have chosen pile two, I mean three, excuse me, pile three, um, then this could be you. Pile three, let's go. May or may not resonate. If you don't like your pile, choose something else, okay? And it's timeless. It's timeless, okay? Pile three for pile three. Ooh, I don't think I've seen, we haven't seen this one yet on the channel. I don't recall. One, Earth Star Chakra Initiation. Oh, we see the opening, the third eye, right? I have three eyes, two to look through and one to see, all right? One that sees, boom, initiation. Stars represent Aquarius. We have earth signs being pointed out here. Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. This illumination happening here. It's a third eye. Aquarius, um, the star card represents healing. And we do see number one. Van, okay, number one, okay. I'm sorry, I'm, I'm not an expert. I don't know what this symbolizes. It's a planet, but I apologize. I don't know it. I don't, I don't read that. I'll look into it, okay? Excuse that. Saturn could be Saturn, Jupiter, I don't remember. Okay, sorry guys. Um, I don't know everything, so fuck it, all right? Fuck it, two quarters in a fucking bucket, right? <laughs> you know what I'm saying. I'm doing my thing here, guys. I just, <sighs> so are you, pile three. You're initiating something. All right, let's go ahead and clarify this for you, pile three. Uh, what's up with this message, Jess? Oh my gosh. Pile three, here we go. Quick picks. Okay, I'm called to pull this one out. It's the three of coins in reverse. Well, you're here again, Earth signs, Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. In the reverse, three is about communication and drive and transition and self-expression and it's hidden, right? It's, it's hidden within. Some of you, pile three, don't really know what to work on or what to focus on here. Look at this. We have a star over here lining up with this one. And this is the lotus. 
But it's a star, too. Ooh, blossoming. And, yeah, it's about, you know, <sighs> what it takes to get on the right team, if you will. Finding people in your life that, oh, man, excuse me, guys. I'm so sorry about the camera. Um, people that ground you in your life, okay? I want that energy around me. It, it's what I want. It's the beginning of what I want, but it's in the reverse. So there's not team, there isn't enough teamwork here. Pile three, there's no teamwork, so. But you want it, is what I keep hearing. I want that so bad, but I just, I really don't know how to start, kind of. Here, what do I need to work on, okay? It is about healing, too. Once again, Earth signs are Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. I'm sure I mentioned you guys like three times now. Whatever. And Aquarius. There's the star. Boom. Right there, okay? It's about healing. It's about being vulnerable. Some of you might get a job offer here that can help transition you out of this funk is kind of also how I'm getting it okay get to work on yourself um, at a job being creative start small start photographing you know art guys there's so many things we can work on that will fulfill us, that can fulfill us in our lives, okay? And that's all I have for you guys. Um, yeah, take it easy, love and light, and until next time, bye. Peace.